Welcome back to the channel. We are checking out Crisis 2 Remastered, remade, who knows? They made so many different versions of Crisis. But this is available right now on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series consoles. And this is the Xbox Series S version. I know not many people are highlighting the Xbox Series S, but I have an Xbox Series S and I decided to check out Crisis. I love story-driven games and story-driven shooters in particular, and I love this series along with the Half-Life series and the older Halos when they actually focused in on story. So the first thing we're noticing here is graphically, let me tell you, this game is beautiful. Now, I'm sure it looks better if you have an Xbox Series X. I'm not sure how much better. I don't know what the frame rate is or the maximum resolution just showing you this footage. This footage is 4K and it is 60 frames per second. The game is incredibly smooth. The lighting effects and the detail and the reflections are amazing in the opening level of this game. Now I captured the footage really close to the screen because I wanted you to be able to see the detail on the gun, the reflections, the texture quality, and the impact that the lighting engine has, the enhanced engine used here is just absolutely stunning and the juxtaposition of indoor to outdoor and you're going to see that coming up is striking and crisis 2 was a great game highlighting the differences in gameplay between close quarters and then wide open spaces whereas the original was mostly wide open spaces so what we'll do here is we'll play around with the controls we'll spin the camera around check out the frame rate and then We'll get into some of the gameplay. I'm just looking at a lot of the detail here. Some of the things that I haven't noticed, like right here, this is pretty cool. The effect of the water on the visor. Really, really cool little effects that ground you to the experience in this game. And I love the story of the Crisis series. Again, this is the remastered, and there's a three-pack available, Crisis 1, Crisis 2, and Crisis 3, I believe, for $60. And then for about $20 each, I think there's a sale on the Xbox store right now. I picked this up for $20, Crisis 2, and Crisis 3 is available for $20 as well. So let's go ahead and just check around here, looking around. Really, really smooth controls, too. I want to point that out. It is very, very fast and very fluid. Look at the lighting here and the detail on that gun and the smoke effects. Everything just looks so good with this remaster. And again, this is on the Series S. So, well worth the money to play this game that was the benchmark back in the day for power. Can your can your system run Crisis? Well, the Xbox Series S can, and it looks phenomenal. So let's head up a little bit more here, and then we'll jump across this gap, and then we'll show you the indoor to the outdoor and just how big the world is. And what's great about this version, this this game, the second game in the series, is the nano suit and all of the different abilities that you have to play with. So we'll open this door and head outside and you'll see the difference between the indoor and the outdoor. And again, the lighting and the environments are striking. And the gameplay is what's really good about the Crisis series. Now it is linear, but there's a set path. And within that path, there is a ton of different options for you to choose from, a lot of different things for you to do and different ways for you to play and that's where that nano suit and those abilities come in and that's why I think I love these games that are like this because you stay engaged with the story and the character and it's not so wide open that you lose yourself or you forget what you're doing or the story but there are a lot of different ways to utilize a specific tool set and it makes the gameplay that much more intuitive and enjoyable so we're gonna hop down here and check out the gunplay in a second but I wanted you to notice the little details in the game, like the particle effects and the smoke. The shadows are absolutely exquisite in this game, especially your character model shadow. And again, here's some of those abilities that you have with the nano suit. You can scan the environment. You can mark your enemies. You can find ammo. You can set your objectives. And within this linear path, there's a ton of different ways to approach going from point A to point B. And again, once the nano suit kicks in and you get the stealth ability, you can pretty much ghost your way through this game if you want to, or you can go flat out action and activate your armor mode. So there's a lot to do here. So let's just check out some of the gameplay here. I'm gonna scan around here. Got the weapon loaded. Look at the detail with the hands. Just little things like that that weren't in the original games when they released on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, or even the last versions that were on these systems. So we'll hop down here and we'll get into some gameplay. The gunplay is incredibly smooth, precise, 
feels really, really good. All right. Let's just get into some action, and then we'll play around with that nano suit and some of its abilities. Now, normally I'd be stealthing my way through here, but I just wanted to get into some combat. Really, really smooth. It feels really precise. Definitely 60 frames per second if you're looking for that. And again, I'm sure it isn't native 4K, but looking at it here and playing it on a big 4K television, it looks phenomenal. So we're going to head up here and learn how to use this cloak. And again, I love this feature in the Crisis games. I like using stealth to play through this game, but I also love activating that armor and going full out action. All right, so right here, we're gonna learn how to activate that cloak. So your motion actually degrades the cloak timing. So everything looks really good on the Xbox Series S. I love the resolution. I love the frame rate. Texture quality looks good. For me though, really not noticing resolution differences. Everything just looks crisp to me. What I'm actually noticing is just how clean and the lighting in this game and the effects work is absolutely beautiful. It's standing out much more than it ever did before. We'll pick up this rifle and then we'll do some straight up action and we'll end the video. I think you'll love this game. You pick it up for 20 bucks or in the collection on your Xbox Series consoles. Xbox Series S looks phenomenal. And again, this gameplay is really good if you like story-driven shooters that aren't wide open, but give you a number of different ways to get from point A to point B and a really cool tool set and a great story. Thanks for watching the video. Think about sharing it out on your favorite social media platform of choice. Maybe subscribe. At the very least, hit the like button. It helps me grow the channel Crisis 2 on the Xbox Series S. Looks phenomenal. Thanks for watching.